All right, so another way this can go is instead of giving you the summary stats, I can give you the actual data. So exercise three shows that. Consumer Reports randomly tested 14 brands of yogurt. Uh, vanilla yogurt specifically. Assume the population of vanilla yogurt is normally distributed. So they're letting us know we have that one assumption. The data below represents the number of calories per serving. So as I said before, number of calories, we're dealing with something quantitative, right? Um, we're going to check our conditions for inference. So if we're doing inference with a quantitative measure, um, even if we weren't, it's basically those three things, independence, SRS, and less than 10% of the population, and also our rule of thumb. Is our N large enough? So in this case, they did say randomly tested, so I guess we'll give ourselves those two. Less than 10% of the population will have no idea how many types of vanilla brands of vanilla yogurt are out there. Um, I guess it's going to be more than 140. I have this one I would put a big old question mark on. Um, and then a rule of thumb, since N is equal to 14, we don't have any of the criteria, but we don't need that. Our X is normally distributed, so we're good to go. So we're going to create a 95% confidence interval for the parameter of interest. Don't love that wording. But we want to make an interval. We know we're dealing with quantitative data. So the interval that we probably want to make is to look at the average amount of calories in a vanilla yogurt. So we're probably going to do a confidence interval from you. So we're either doing x bar plus or minus t star s divided by the square root of n if we have a little calculator, um, where your t star is going to be based on a degree of freedom of 13 uh, or we're going to be using t interval however you'll notice right away x bar is not hard to get we can add everything up and divide by n s is a little more tricky so regardless of what type of calculator we have we have a first step here and that first step is we got to put all of this data into l1 so that way we can find our mean and our standard deviation so very exciting, but if I gave you a list of data, this is how you have to handle it. I don't tend to do this often on exams because it just seems like a lot of a waste of time when I can test that you know what you're doing by just giving you the summary stats. And when we do this on the actual uh, whatever a project, we're using StatCrunch, and so StatCrunch will do this on the fly as well. We will never have to type in a bunch of crap like this, but. We will finish this problem because it isn't in your lecture notes and I am a completist. So there we go. We go over to stat, over to calculate, one bar stats, right? That's how we used to do this. So stat, calculate, one bar stats, enter. So we got our X bar, it's 157.8571. We could go get our T star, we're looking at 95% with a degree of freedom of 13. Let's go grab that. 13, 95%. Let's get rid of all this other crap that's distracting us. 2.160. Our S is going to be in our output on our calculator. There's our SX, that's it. 44.7521. and square root of 14. Uh, or we're going to go over to stat and t interval. The great thing about putting all this stuff in L1 is you'll notice as soon as you go to t interval it auto fills x bar s and n from your list. So all we have to do is go grab our confidence level, tell it we want it to do a 95, and then calculate. It even takes a little time. So 132.02. For these, I'm completely okay with less um, decimals. Feel free. All right, and I don't even have enough space to interpret it, but we are 95% confident that the average amount of calories in a vanilla yogurt are between 132 and 187.
And then we have our duality type question here. Uh, we have a claimed amount of 120. Uh, does it support the claim or not? So we can see 120 does not fall into the interval. So we'd write a sentence about no because, oops, I don't like the wording there. Because we are 95% confident the average calories are between 132 and 187, i.e. not 120.